Drew Hart Sports Ministries over at South North of Baptist. I recently, me and my family, um, devoted our lives and gave our lives to Christ. Um, it started with football, and we had a football league. And while football was going on, um, we had Pastor David. He came out to the field like every day. We were practicing 95 degrees. Pastor David comes out, preaches praise for all the kids and the coaches. I said to myself, that's a dedicated man. And whatever church he pastors for, I think that's somewhere I want to be. So that's what got me in the church. Now, as football season came close to a hand, we um, didn't know what we were going to do with all the kids. I mean, we're in an area where there's not a lot offered to our children. Same area I grew up, I, did, I was not into church. There was nothing offered for us. Nothing but trouble out there. So um, we decided that we were going to try and start a basketball league. And um, we found a league, you know, Urban Awareness Basketball League. We joined with other churches, Bethany Baptist, um, Mount Herman. We have the um, Chesapeake Housing Authority and um, Portsmouth Youth Basketball League. They also came in with us. We continue to pray because we didn't have any gym space. The Lord blessed us with four gems so that we could practice and play. We wound up with 75 to 80 young men between the ages of 6 and 18. And about 15 to 20 young women between the ages of 4 and 15. And trust me, a 4 year old is tough. <laughs> 4 year olds are tough. But, I mean, all throughout the season, every week, we had Bible verses for the children. So if they didn't make it to church, they at least had a verse to read at home to help them find their way to the church someday. Oh, they're going to get there one day. If not, we're going to keep pressing until they come. All of them didn't show up, but that's okay. Um, basketball season's over. We're getting ready to go back into football, and we're still going to keep pressing. These kids, we want them to get in. During basketball season, we had about Ooh, roughly six to seven kids come in and give their lives to Christ. We had quite a few baptisms, myself and my son included. Um, Mr. Garnett, I know I'm not going on. Mr. Garnett over there used to be my technology teacher, and he knows that. <laughs> I come a long way. <laughs> um, so I mean, they gave me three to five minutes. I was hoping they told me twenty to thirty seconds. So I could get off the stage right now, but it's, it's okay. Um, I really don't have much else to say. Just thank you, Jesus, and you all have a good night.